Hey everybody, Sarasota Tim. All right, there we are. Taking a look at the, uh, in daylight, this strip over here in uh, Laughlin from Bullhead City. I'm over here on Arizona 95 going due north, Colorado River in between us. All the lights are out as the daylight gets brighter. Let the games begin, right? There's the man who started it all, Don Laughlin's Riverside. That's his penthouse apartment on the roof up there. Huge place. Let's zoom in on it. Really cool. Well, it's time to get back over to the house and put on a pot of Maxwell House coffee and make up some uh, bacon and eggs, get the Jenny going, empty out the dumps, gray, black, put on a cowboy suit, maybe go to uh, Oatman, check out some wild donkeys, take a little ride until the boys get here tomorrow. What's today, Monday or Tuesday? Well, they don't come till Wednesday. So whatever we're doing, we're gonna crush it. You guys seen the river yet? Crossing the bridge here into Nevada. There's a big time dam down there. Coming around, there's a casino ride and the river on this side. The water's very, very low. Let's get on around this turn here and get the old welcome to uh, Laughlin sign on the bridge. It's always kind of cool uh, to go under as you come down Casino Drive here. Yeah, I mentioned it before, you know, they got a big movie theater, a car museum, uh, all kinds of stuff at the riverside there. You would never know it. I mean, a beautiful theater with electric um, recliners, big easy boys. Welcome to Laughlin. Let's go up into the, um, what do you call the RV place over here and take a look at where I used to live. This light will change for us. Nobody behind us. I'll uh, make a, a right. Come on now, any day. I don't want my people to trail off. I'll have to edit this out if it's too long. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. I got to make some breakfast. I spent all my um, energy there at the at the uh, gym. Let this guy go by, and then let's go over here and uh, take a look. I used to go in this way right here. This is a shortcut that goes to where I was parked. And this right here is where you go in and go across that, that bridge right there to the movie theater and stuff. You can park in this, uh, there's parking everywhere for Riverside. Uh, parking is abundant here in Laughlin for all the casinos actually. They all have uh, garage parking and the uh, lot parking. All right. Looks like my row is packed. When I was here, I was literally one of the only ones, maybe two or three at the most. And look at all these people here now. Looks like uh, 114 is where I was. Right in front of that white dumpster there. Next to that tree, remember? It was right, was it once, yeah, it was this tree, right? Yeah, it was right here, 117. Or, yeah, it was. I'm trying to remember. 
And then, um, look at all these people paying $250 a week. One thing they got, plenty of money. Look at the size of the rigs. A lot of RVers, folks. And going to an RV park or campground is a great way uh, to get a kind of an idea of what you might like. Because you have a whole eclectic uh, array. I mean, look at that Super C right there. Where if you go to an RV dealer, you know, they're going to carry one type. Now, they'll have, you know, A's, B's, and C's, but they're going to be all the same brand. Now, back here, it's a little cheaper to stay here if you want to get um, down there where... Let me show you. Man, this place is packed. Look at that. Wow. And look, it goes, look at that way up on the top way up there but right down here those dirt lots there's a paved road but they're dirt lots like these right here you know you got no view or anything it's just full hookups and it's about I don't know $20 a week cheaper $15 I don't know it's a little cheaper but you definitely got a selection of RVs here. Now that dealer right here, they told me, I did a video in there, they told me that that's kind of a storage lot uh, where they transport RVs to, um, to RV shows. I mean, they sell them there, but they get a lot of, um, a lot of units they store. So uh, we're gonna work our way out of here. There's the Riverside Casino across the street from this Riverside RV park. God, this Super Duty is got a tight suspension. There's a Flagstaff like I have. Here's an old Class A, a Hurricane. They got their setup. They're going to be there a while. Rockwood, that's the same brand as what I have. And here's that Bushwhacker I was trying to show you guys. Bushwhacker Plus. Got two LP tanks on it. And this was like this was like JJ's, but different. It's got a rear door on it. Same side slide though. Axis. That's what he's got. Here's another little small unit. And check this little small A out. That's the same thing. That's one of those. That's so that's what Jay's got. That's probably a newer one. It's either a Thor. I mean, um, a Vegas, which is what they call it. Look at this guy. He's got his own little uh, storage tent. You know what's in there? Guess what's in there, folks? A motorcycle. That's right. It's a motorcycle uh, garage, a little portable tent, or his e-bikes, likely his e-bikes. But that's uh, got the slide on the back. That's kind of nice. Nice paint job on it. Um, yeah, that's the uh, probably the Vegas. Big old fifth wheel here. Look how small that Class C looks compared to this big fifth wheel. Then you got an old A here, and then we got a bus with a tag axle. The real deal. A Dutch star. Two axles in the rear. Definitely nice. Ford Ranger with the FX4 package. Right here is the uh, laundry room in the front, and the restrooms are around the side over there on the right. Very, very nice and clean. They take good care of this place here. And you have a shuttle bus that'll take you right across the street, and you have full access uh, to the pool if you stay here. And that building is the one that's got the uh, Car museum, well, the car museum's right here. Those two glass uh, floors there at the lowest, that's where the car museum is. And here's free camping. These guys are squatting right here, just inside the fence, roughing it. 
There's that axis and that bushwhacker. So we got Engelbert Humperdinck coming to the Aquarius. <coughs> Bunch of people are coming January 11th. Who else we got? There's a big time Aquarius. See all the parking in the parking lot and in the uh, garage. This is where I bought some uh, Western wear. Oh, look at those buses to carry people. Uh, where the boot barn was. This place is going out of business. There's a morgue in there. Five Craps is back at Edgewater. I don't know if I've been in Edgewater yet. Here you go. Get your marijuana here. <laughs> And the Tropicana, two big buildings. And a lot of people here. Uh, the parking lot's full. I wonder if they all blew out after the holiday. Let's take a look. Parking lot's still full on that side. And the RV lot is, you know, people kind of avoid that for the RVs. And they park right here because it's a short walk right into the lobby to register. There's a swimming pool here. You don't get access to that. You can buy a pass if you have your RV in the back, but you don't get access to the pool. So everybody kind of parks over here. And the lot is now basically empty, yeah. Everybody went home. The party's over. They're all gone. There's the sun coming up on them mountains. Look at that. What a view. I guess they used to have some kind of old railroad or actually it might be a uh, just a path to walk on. Not sure. Look at that beautiful mountain range out there. Person just cut that corner a little bit too sharp. Oh, we got to say, oh, let me back out for you guys. Got to say, uh, a U-Haul here, nice Toyota there with a little lift on it and his bass boat. Uh, this unit right here has been here since I've been here. It's really nice. This is a nice unit. He's got a motorcycle. I never see that go anywhere. His truck leaves, and he's got this Escape 21. It's super nice. He's from Minnesota. Got an awning on it. And this is where the cute little... Uh, dog is he's not out this morning he got the truck up on a jack working on it look at this guy's trailer he's got his chairs probably out having breakfast right now got him a rig there made of a a trailer this guy's been here since i've been here and i got a new neighbor about 3 a.m he came in And we're home. Time to crush that breakfast.